So we have a dilemma. Well, not really. So we're going to get this King Kong painting scanned in so we can get the release for the King Kong done. This is an old print of the meta god. But I gotta take this to make sure that I can get the same paper and make sure the scan core, basically, you know, new place. Never gotten any G clay printing done in Vegas. So I basically have to go check out, you know, make sure everything up to par so that we don't uh, sacrifice anything. Because the other printers I've been using for a long time, I may have to go back to Colorado or at least ship it. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. COVID craziness has been, I don't know what the word is. Uh, there's ways to find, I guess, positives in it. One thing that I've had to force myself to, which I've been on top of with the bike, nutrition has been, I would say, more improved because I'm at least like conscious of what I'm eating. I mean, a stank was here, we kind of ate a little like shit, but not really. I mean, we didn't like go crazy. Obviously, there are better choices to be made. And, on, and to be completely honest, I've been eating pretty much like maintenance calories. I've just been trying to get used to eating the same amount of calories every day around abouts, you know, making sure I have enough energy to ride my bike. So I've been lifting weights here and there, you know, forever, I guess. But now I'm like trying to get more into a rhythm of actually like going, making it part of my daily routine again. With everything going on, I'm less busy. I just can't make as much stuff. I mean, I can make stuff, but I, I don't know. I'm finding different projects. I can't make clothing and products as fast as I used to. And that wasn't even fast enough for me then. Less able to travel, I guess, which I've been thinking about. Like, I could technically go visit somewhere and tattoo. Like, Chicago, the tattoo shops are open, so I could technically go there. You know, it's not like I do anything other than go to hotels and go out to eat, but at the same time, I don't know. It's just, right now, everything's just so annoying. God damn, if this shit ain't political. Long story short, we're headed to the fucking gym. It's a nice time to just recalibrate some things, refocus, figure out what's important, figure out what you're doing, like, what, where you want to go, what you want to do. So yeah, it's it's been cool, like the opportunities to paint, things like that. We went to a different Anytime Fitness yesterday. Come on, dog, don't play. But it's like six miles away, and it's really not worth the drive. My face mask opinion is non-existent, really. But it was strange to be in a place where literally no one was wearing a mask, so I don't know what or why or I, I don't even know. I don't, I don't want to form an opinion about anything going on. I don't want to form opinions. I still gotta talk to you guys, sneakerheads, the show. Off to the gym we go. I gotta put my seatbelt on before someone leaves a comment. I ate all my peas. Grits. We didn't even eat half. It's time to go ride the bike. Oh, face man. Shopping for the public October 4th at noon. We're still not out of here and it's already six. But that's because this tire was flat. This is way harder than your bike. Okay. <sighs> Time to make breakfast. We're just gonna make an egg and cheese sandwich, dog. Egg whites, cheese. Got free cheddar cheese because we're, we're tracking calories. We're gonna eat as much food as possible, but the lowest amount of calories possible without suffering. So, fat free cheese, egg whites, toast for breakfast. We're eating good. I'm enjoying the way I'm eating. breakfast because I just love peas right now. I can't explain it. bike is fixed we have discovered that you know that little bullshit on your tires the metal the metal flake on your tires when your tires are wearing out well that shit gets all up in the motherfucking road and inside my fucking tire 
So that's why it popped this time. Some of you are saying get some gator skin tires. I'm looking into it. I'm looking into all kinds of things. Partially want to sell my fucking car because I feel like there's new Teslas coming and I don't want mine anymore if there's new ones. And as most of you know, I'm not really a fan of cars in general. Now, we don't go that many places. We go far less places than we used to. So I have this really expensive car that is just sitting here. It's almost paid, well it's not almost paid off, but it's more than halfway paid off, so. I don't know. Part of me feels like selling it and buying like a $10,000 road bike. This is what part of me feels like, the health journey. It's like, I sold my Tesla and I bought a road bike. Some clickbait if I ever saw one. And now I have to go to the imaging company to talk about getting the King Kong made. We're gonna take a dab. All right, we dropped off the painting. So now it's time to go home. Fucking eat. This place is pretty legit. I think they're gonna do a fine job, especially since how thorough they just were about what they need to do to image capture. We're gonna wait, we're gonna hear back on the image capture. And then we'll be able to make prints and some shirts once we get that done. Image capture itself, people don't know. People have no idea how much it costs. An image capture for a painting that size is around 300 bucks. So just to start off, to make things with it, we're 300 bucks in the hole. The name of the game, baby girl. Tortillas, ground beef, paprika cheese, pico, lettuce, guacamole, bow. Okay, this week is halfway over. It's Wednesday. Things are, I don't know, things are just always busy. I don't even know why to say. Things are just crazy, dog. Holy fucking <laughs> presidential debate. I did not really watch it. I caught a couple of clips because I, uh, as most of you know, do not. I mean, this whole thing's a circus, dog. But we're, we're making memes about our, our impending doom. A, psych a psychologist would need a lifetime to undo the damage. Yeah, I don't partake. I mean, I make jokes because laughing is better than crying. But yes, people are arguing with each other. It's all by design. You should stop. You should do something for yourself, I think. That was my advice. Stop worrying because if, it, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying to be apathetic, but the, the arguing, holy shit. The president and politics and stuff kind of, uh, I don't know, like lately, like last week, I've been having this like weird mental, uh, I don't even know what you'd call it. I don't know. Like, certain things don't feel good, you know? It's like, you go on Twitter, and it doesn't feel good to watch people kind of argue. It doesn't feel good to really, like, tear stuff apart all the time. And, you know, there was a lot of people who, this week, were trying to get me to, like, tear certain things up, you know? And, like, I have opinions about some of them, but I don't really necessarily feel... You know, it, I keep saying it, it's pointless to bring up. And it is. It's pointless for me to critique certain people, and I don't really want to be part of the currency. Like, oh, you know, if you're hating, they're doing something right. No public Publicity is bad publicity. Like, I, I don't want to argue with people about my opinion. I have my opinion. I've given it. I feel like um, it doesn't really, like, do anything for me, you know? Like, critiquing other people's work, I guess, at the end of the day, I really don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I go to a museum, do I like everything I see? Absolutely not. You know what I mean? But I don't stop and dwell on the pictures that I don't like. So I'm not gonna, like, give energy to this thing that everybody's hating on because everybody's hating on it, even though I don't like it, you know what I'm saying? Which will bring me into Sneakerheads. <laughs> Sneakerheads is uh, an interesting expose, I feel like. It's uh, it's funny because you go into it, at least I go into it. I mean, there's nothing that was gonna happen in that show that uh, I was gonna be like, holy shit, this is like, totally speaks to my uh, inner sneakerhead journey. You know, it's just not normal for me. You know, it's very normal for the, for the uh, environment now. It is the environment now. That's why most people find it to be the corniest thing ever, because it's a direct reflection of the culture now. Complex is Verizon. This is all very mainstream. What has happened is, now, the mainstream, they are trying to make it appeal to an even more mainstream, and they're just working the sneaker angle into like a regular kind of silly story. Now, I think the writing of the show is actually pretty clever. I gotta be honest, the Mark Wahlberg switch between the two Mark Wahlbergs is amazing. Uh, one of the funniest things ever. Kind of makes the show. The dialogue being is very corny, like the way Bushimi is introduced is like cringeworthy to me. At the same time, this is not a secret, you know, like street hype culture, streetwear, it's not a secret. So again, it's just appealing to a mainstream audience. Re real sneakerheads are bothered by this because again, it does not represent the romantic journey you've had with sneakers, which everyone holds so individually true to their hearts. Going into it as a self-proclaimed sneakerhead, which I am not, uh, I feel like most are gonna hate it because it's 
again, kind of watered down and appeal to the masses. You know, it is what it is. It's goofy, but it's very true. Jordan, would, would people chase a Jordan called the Zero to Hong Kong? Absolutely they would. Everybody, literally everybody in the show is flipping. I don't, I, I, I don't know if there's a character in the show that's not flipping. It's very accurate. So, I mean, do I hate the show? No. Do I like the show? No, not really. But I'm not going to sit here and tear into the writers. and the, Because honestly, I think some of the writing is good. I think the directing is pretty good. Some of the acting may be questionable, but what the fuck ever. Who cares? I was reading about it. They did a lot of it like kind of guerrilla. A lot of stuff in Hong Kong was shot with questionable permitting and, you know, celebrities that are in it didn't get overpaid just to be in it. So obviously they fucked with it. So it is what it is. I mean, you don't have to like it, but it is, again, very, very representative of the culture. Some of those conversations, as uh, as silly as they may seem, I guarantee you take place in sneaker lines. I wouldn't know because I don't hang out in sneaker lines. But that's Sneakerheads on Netflix for you if you don't know. I just spoiled it, I'm sure. But yeah, very accurate. And it's, yeah, it's pretty funny. There's some funny stuff. Just can't take it seriously. Can't take it seriously. Nothing. Can't take politics series, Netflix shows, sneakers, nothing. If you do, you'll be miserable. I think this is the key to life is to not take too much shit seriously. You know? Yeah, that is what's going on for me midweek. I bike is fixed, so I'm gonna ride tomorrow, of course. Oh, I'm not going to the gym today. I'm gonna go tomorrow. Got yeah, the rest of the night. I'm just gonna cook some more food, hang out, try and get this smart bike kind of calibrated. I don't really love the smart bike yet. It's not my favorite. I rode, you know, riding this morning. It's only like the third time I've ridden it. I still have time in my return window, so I need to like really figure out if I like this thing or not. I definitely prefer the street. The indoor cycle is way fucking harder. Holy shit. Maybe that's why I don't like it, it's because I'm being a pussy. I'm out. Face masks, October 4th. Noon. Peace.